I'll say this. If he had it, it was up to him. He would much rather have Hillary Clinton be president right now. And all of these countries would rather have he, Biden or anybody else but Trump. He was trying to help elect you. He said that explicitly. And, well, he might have said that after I won, because it's a smart thing to say. Okay? And Mueller says because he frankly, was trying to do that. Mueller said that we rebuffed Russia, that we pushed them away, that we weren't interested. Read the report. I have read the report. That, on that, though, your son, Don Jr., is up before the Senate Intelligence Committee today. Are you here to correct your testimony? To correct it. Don Jr. had been caught up in the Russia investigation because of that Trump Tower meeting in 2016, which he set up expecting to get dirt on Hillary Clinton from the Russian government. He was not charged with anything. In retrospect, though, By the way, not only wasn't he charged, if you read it, with all of the horrible fake news. I mean, I was reading that my son was gonna to go to jail. This is a good young man, that he was gonna to go to jail. And all of these horrible stories. And then the report comes out, and they didn't even say, they, but, they hardly even talked about it. have gone to the FBI when he got that email? Okay, let's put yourself in a position, you're a congressman. Somebody comes up and says, hey, I have information on your opponent. Do you call the FBI? I don't it's think, coming from Russia, you, you do. I've seen a lot of things over my life. I don't think in my whole life I've ever called the FBI. This is somebody that said, we have information on your opponent. Oh, let me call the FBI. Give me a break. Life doesn't the work The FBI that much. director says that's what should happen. The FBI director is wrong. But I heard about my son, who's a great young man, going to jail over a meeting where somebody said, I have information on Hillary Clinton. She's the one that should be in jail. She deleted 33. She, jail. she deleted 33,000 emails from sent by the United States Congress. They deleted every one of them. Okay? If you did that, you would have been put in jail. Your campaign this time around, if foreigners, if Russia, if China, if someone else offers you information on an opponent, should they accept it or should they call the FBI? I think maybe you do both. I think you might want to listen. I don't. There's nothing wrong with listening. If somebody called. From a country, Norway, we have information on your opponent. Oh, I think I'd want to hear it. Do you want that kind of interference in our elections? It's not an interference. They have information. I think I'd take it. If I thought there was something wrong, I'd go maybe to the FBI. If I thought there was something wrong, you go and talk honestly to congressmen. They all do it. They always have. And that's the way it is. It's called oppo research.